What is going on fellas and welcome back to the five year rebuilds here on NCAA 14. Today I've decided to do North Texas. I do have the updated rosters now. So hopefully we won't see any like quadruple X last names. It'll be legitimate. These guys are in the CUSA, two star school. They come in at an abysmal 67 overall, 72 offense, 63 defense. So obviously with the updated rosters, they've nerfed a lot of teams. I think Bama might even be a 92. So let's jump into it. So looking at freshmen that'll be there for season five, nobody stands out at all. It's just a bunch of high 60s. That is literally it. I don't think I'm going to be making any of these guys starters. I don't think there's any point. The good thing is we have a lot of freshmen. I don't know how many are going to be leaving, but probably a lot know in this game. Yeah, there's nothing that amazing interested in joining our school. I'll put a couple of them on, but I think for the most part, we're just going to focus on low lock cheese. I'll take A.O. Simpson, 75 overall, mate. A.O. Simpson is a 76 seven overall this guy brett bishop has a 630 squat he's a 77 and he has interest holy crap this guy went down 12 overall talk about a bust of the century this guy's a five-star athlete that's 68 unbelievable Okay, there's a lot of players that we need to get and we just don't have the points for it right now. Brian Williams being the most important one. He is a quarterback, 87 throw power, 80 throw accuracy. Carrying is awful, but we should be fine. We'll come back next week and uh, put the points on. For now, we got to give him scholarships. Brad Bennett is a must get. Same as Jordan Moore, must get player. This guy, Chaz Robertson, is six foot six and runs a 4-4-4. I think we got to do everything we can to get this guy. He comes in with a really bad acceleration, but good speed. I don't know if he really runs a 4-4-4. I'm still going to pick him up just because he's a freak, but... Ah, look at that. We get majority of the people we want, which is crazy. We're also a Coach of the Year finalist. We go 9-3. and three. That's a big start. So that means we should be up to a three-star school. We ranked top five in points per game, which is odd. We got 10 wins season one. Our target win per year was only five. We might very well go up to a four-star school. It's a little bit ambitious, but I definitely have seen it before. Why did our defensive coordinator leave? Left us with a level one, like imagine. Okay, we got somebody transferring to Deshaun Gaddy. He's going to Texas State. That's, I mean, I don't really care, to be honest. You can go. Uh, a lot of people leaving as well. None of them really impressive. Ooh. We can replace that cornerback with Javion Cardwell, though, out of Oklahoma State. 73 overall. Oh, Richard Anderson is a quarterback as well. Hagen is a running back. Signed the top class in the conference. I don't want to jinx it, but this rebuild is off to probably the best start it could have possibly had. We signed the 11th best class in the nation up to a three-star now. One five-star, eight four-stars, couple of crappy one-stars. We're chilling, though. We are in front of TCU, Clemson, Florida State. Oh, my goodness. This might be the best start to a rebuild I've ever had. The amount of positions that we filled in a single year. I mean, especially considering how bad we were at, at the beginning, you know? Charles Flynn! 75 overall O-line? Five-star quarterback and five-star running back is interested. What are the chances of that? We don't need it. Man, we got some straight studs here. I think I will go after this quarterback because if we do pick him up, then that other guy could just go to wide receiver anyway. This guy's an 81 overall. He can't scramble. Great throw power, but I don't Right, we'll see what happens, man. We gotta pick him up first. There's actually three cornerbacks that I really want to get. We could probably move Chad Rogers to DT. I mean, he's very undersized, but you know, maybe he'll drop down a couple overall. I gotta be honest, there's not really anybody in the low lock area that looks good at all. Like they could contribute. No five stars, nothing, mate. And we're getting a bit low here. There is wide receivers, but I mean, geez. We don't need wide receivers that bad. Hey, we did get ourselves an 81 overall kicker, but that's kind of clutch. That's the first time I've ever been beaten 37 to 7 by an FCS team. Imagine that. <laughs> That's actually the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in this game. So we finished 6-6, six and six, not ideal, but we should be up to a 4-star. Sure doesn't help that we have a bloody useless defensive coordinator. Survey says our targets win is 6 and we got 6. So we're going to remain a 3-star, which is fine for me. I don't really care as long as we're not going down. That's positive steps. Nobody is deciding to leave via transfer. That is such good news. Look at this class, mate. It's not amazing, but it's definitely really solid. We just need to get some O-linemen next year. And then we have all of these guys who are interested. I think we might have used all of our luck last season somehow we signed the 83rd best class i mean first of all those three three-star players were like high 70s we went down to a two-star prestige when we met our target win per year that literally does not match up at all how are we back to a two-star oh yeah let's get some better coordinators while we're at it because they keep leaving it's actually really frustrating 
All right, well, now that we're back down to two star, let's see what kind of offensive lineman would be interested in joining the squad. We have this guy who's a 57. What a great pickup that would be. I'm just going to go ahead and snag like all the offensive linemen. Surely one of them's got to be interested, right? So in season three, we are B, B, and B minus. We were what, 68 overall? Now we're up to 84, 86, and 82. Woo! And it's only going up from here, fellas. That's what I'm saying. Once we get this O-line sorted out, we got nothing to worry about at all. It'll be smooth sailing. So there is not one offensive lineman that I put on the board that we're leading upon. There was probably like, what, seven people that had 700 points? Not one of them was interested. Not really that shocking, to be honest. Let's go ahead and just see if we can find some more linemen, man. Please, let me have some loyal lock cheese man we are getting so unlucky though there's literally no o linemen like low lock that are good at all maybe if i filter by squat in athlete there might be something so we'll see if we can pick them up see if they have any interest in joining not the best situation but we definitely do have something to work with here three people who look like they could be pretty good o linemen i'm pretty sure this guy down here cody brooks is a defensive lineman we got one left tackle oh we got people down here they're pretty trash but i don't know why they're on the list if only we had better coordinators man i'm sure there's somebody out there that we could pick out that's at least level 10 like what look at this guy number one guy in the class 14 percent lock rate imagine we don't need wide receivers but hey what else are we gonna assign right this guy must be so bad right here no he's an 80 overall wow okay so the number one just straight up number one guy in the class has nobody going after him at all well i guess he's coming to north texas then go ahead give all these guys scholarships and 700 points so we finished eight and four that's definitely got to be good enough to uh go back up to three star we don't have a bowl game which is weird what team on an eight and four record doesn't get a bowl game eight and four we're on the up and up about time can we keep that three star but we're gonna need it keep in mind we're probably gonna be pretty bad in season four because we have to redshirt so many people remember that freshman list right at the beginning of the video we're gonna need to redshirt all of those dudes we got a junior trying to leave ha <laughs> yeah right your college degree is way more important this guy is an offensive line that's so cool man that athletes can do that same as this guy as well he's a decent offensive lineman i don't know what the hell that guy is i don't even care what that guy is if you're not trying to contribute to the o-line then get off me team simple as that yeah the team is done that's the whole squad right there Woo! all we gotta do is simulate season four now we're cheering boys so we're going to go ahead and let the computer take over for this year as the team is completely done. This quarterback is already a 97 overall, bro. That's incredible, man. We've got to redshirt a lot of the receivers, but they're good. Tight end will be good. The O lineman is going to be pretty beastly as well. Question is, what is the damage going to be? All of these seniors got to go on the list. That's tough. We got 89s, 93s. Man, I just hope we get our targets win per year. Like, I'm happy to be a three-star prestige, but just don't be a two. That's all I'm saying. Literally RNG at this point. So even with all the people redshirted, we are B pluses across the board, which essentially guarantees 99 overall next year. We would probably be a 93 if all of our starters were there. Let's go ahead, simulate, see how we do. Good luck us. Wow, we went 12 and 0. That's crazy, man. The team's nowhere near their full potential when we went 12 and 0 our quarterback finishes second though and we finished third overall on a 13 and 0 record feels bad we got coach of the year as well and you've got fresno state in the national championship that's kind of questionable wait what they're 99 overall huh Fresno, you've got to be kidding me. I find it funny as well how both of us are 13 and 0 and we're both the same prestige, yet they have like 50 more vote points. I get their 99, but I mean, that's just crazy. The computer literally built them up to be a 99. Bloody Ohio's 93, Buffalo's 93. What is up with these new rosters? Computer building teams into powerhouses, mate. And somehow we beat LSU, so we literally went perfect 14 and 0. How did we beat LSU? That's what I want to know. That's crazy, man. 14 and 0. We have to be a five star prestige now, surely. One person is leaving. So we just went 14 and 0, and one person is leaving. And the person that's leaving wasn't a starter. The good news is we did get an offensive coordinator that's a stud, mate. And what's weird is this is by far the most coaches I've ever had changed throughout like the rebuild. You never get this many. This is crazy. It's like our fifth offensive coordinator, man. So starting off season five, we are undefeated from last season. And like we projected A pluses across the board, the team is completely maxed out 99.
Good rebuild, Crow. Good rebuild, mate. Should have gone to the Natty last year. We didn't. We're 99. We'll get there this year. So, unfortunately for us, we go 10 and 2, mate. I don't know how, but we did. I thought surely we would have gone undefeated, but apparently not. We lost to Rice, 38 to 35. And we lost to Tulane, 45 to 48. We blew out Florida International, 56 to 6. We dropped 50 points pretty much every single game against every other conference opponent. Three points, mate is the reason we probably aren't in the natty and the reason we don't have two undefeated seasons. A positive is Brian Williams, our quarterback, did in fact win the Heisman, 3,500 yards. We'll go check out his stats. We play Georgia State in the New Orleans Bowl. Bruh, <laughs> come on. We won like every single award imaginable, which is good. Finish 18th in the nation. Brian Williams finishes with 3,457 yards, 49 touchdowns, 4 picks. Just an absolute animal. On the rushing end, we had 950. The backup, 9... Wait, wait, no. This guy was the backup. Why did the backup get more carries than the starter? That doesn't make any sense. Brian Williams, the quarterback, also rushed for 649 and 12 touchdowns. So pretty nice. On the receiving end, Deontay Simpson with 1,078, 14 touchdowns. Richard Anderson, 17 touchdowns. We balled out through the air, man. Blocking this John Brunner guy is a beast. 35 pancakes, one sack. And on the defensive end, Brad Bennett, outside linebacker. 80 tackles. We killed it on the sacks. Kenneth Dodson. Nine and a half sacks, mate. Kellen Dahl, a guy we had from season two. He had five and a half. I mean, these guys developed so well and they performed out on the field. Just not good enough to beat Rice. Imagine that being our downfall. Literal Rice. All right, fellas, 99 overall should be a pretty easy game. Let's jump into it. Honestly, I'm just going to the second half, mate. I see no reason why we shouldn't dominate. Why is... Okay, never mind. Look at that. Just straight down the field. They're not going to be able to stop us. Right across the middle. These guys are just not on our level at all. Quarterbacks number 19. Interesting choice. Oh, look at that juke move. Hagen, what a surprise, mate. Nobody's going to be able to catch him because it's physically impossible. That's going to be a touchdown. Man coverage again. I think I'm just going to throw this up, to be honest. I reckon Simpson's going to beat his man. Which he does. Throw it up. Go, go, go. What a pass. Simpson in the end zone. Oh, man. That was too easy, my guy. Do you reckon we do it again to him? All right, fine. Let's do it again to him. Why not, right? Let's have a little bit of fun. Go, Hagen. Oh my goodness, this running back is just, his speed is so crazy. We've got 500 passing yards damn near. Man coverage, you say? It's another Dr. Hagen. Oh man, that's, that's too funny. <laughs> like we are just using and abusing this defense. One safety deep. Got it off in the nick of time. Yes. Let's add to the touchdowns, man. That's a school record, 619 yards. Let's go ahead and miss this kick because I kind of like the idea of finishing on 69 points for this one. GG, what a prestigious rebuild. We won the New Orleans Bowl, I think it is. What an achievement. All right, so checking out the stats in this game, I had to make sure I sent a message to the NCAA not to put us up against talent that isn't as talented. We had 619 yards, shout out Rey Mysterio, six touchdowns, one pick. On the rushing end, Hagen had 15 yards and two touchdowns, but on the receiving end, he put up 306 yards, four touchdowns, longest on the day of one of 78, sorry, 158 yards after catch. Oh man, that was a lot of fun. That actually got out a lot of anger from playing Madden for so damn long. But that being said, fellas, if you made it this far into the rebuild, you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. And for me personally, I'm out. Peace.